Here we are again today in Tidbits for the Word, and this is Brother Peter. Uh, this morning I tell you, if you'd like to learn uh, how to grow your own self, how to uh, get in the Word of God and how to grow your own self, you need to get in the Word, and you need helps. And uh, if you're a computer person, which you probably are if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you could punch into W-O-A-K, uh, lagrange.com and listen to a radio station that uh, preaches and teaches good solid uh, ground things and uh, by the way I helped start that radio station some years ago and um, it's been solid and sound ever since they have not strayed from what they do they preach the word the preachers on there are good preachers good sound preachers whether you like all the music or not is, is kind of immaterial because uh, music and color are about the same. Different people like different colors. Some people will buy a red car and other person will say, man, I wouldn't drive a red car. I like a yellow car. And so colors are different. And then there are music that's different. Some songs are different. You say, well, I don't particularly like the way that song or uh, the southern twang or the wine or the whatever. But listen, sometimes you can listen to the words and the music doesn't have to be the very thing that you're listening to. By the way, you have to be very careful about music, how you do music. You remember the author of the music the, uh, was in heaven and he was the chief musician and he fell, you know, and that was the devil Lucifer. And when he fell from heaven, he also brought the knowledge with him how to take some music and turn it around and make it sound like Christian music, but even though it sounds like it, it isn't. So what we need to do, we need to be very careful what kind of music we tune into. We need to be careful what kind of preacher we listen to. We don't need to go out and join ourselves to false preachers or teachers. We need to stay with somebody who's preaching the very word right here. Now, we're in Luke chapter 15, and we were talking about a sheep uh, in our last time that went astray, and the man had 99, and he went out and got that sheep and brought it back. Now, that sheep was not, this is not talking about the lost sheep he, who was lost before he got saved. This is a sheep that was already in the fold who had a problem and went out. And then when we're talking about the lady, who had the coin, and she lost the coin. This is a coin she already had. She already owned this coin. This was not a coin that was coming in from somewhere out. This was her coin already. But she needed that coin. It's kind of like my wife here uh, last month. She lost her Social Security check, and we needed it, but she lost it. And because she did, we never did find it. But uh, that's beside the point. But we have things that are already ours, and we lose them, and we'd like to find them again. And uh, so what we're going to do here is we looked at the, the woman that had the coin she lost. We went on over, and we looked at uh, the jealousy and anger of the brother. There was a brother that uh, said to his daddy, uh, give me all that, that that's going to be my inheritance. It wasn't his inheritance yet now. The daddy had not died yet. But the daddy was graceful enough to give the boy what was going to be his inheritance. Well, the boy left home. And he, he went out there, and because he got a pocket full of money that he never had had before, and he had the freedom he had never had had. He had got up every morning. He had worked on the farm. And he would never been out in the world, and he, he didn't know what was out there lurking for him. And he walked away from the place of safety, by the way. Actually, this is what I'm talking to you about. If you're in a church, you have a church family, you are in the place of safety. You are like the sheep that was in a place of safety and strayed out of the place of safety away from the other sheep. Away from, by the way, when he left and got out of sight of the other sheep, he also got out of sight of the shepherd. And when he got out of sight of the shepherd, he didn't know what to do. 
It, so uh, it's kind of like a dog chasing his tail. If he did catch his tail, would he be any further ahead? No. And uh, so uh, we're like that as Christians. Our preacher said last night we were in a Bible study and we were in a, um, a prayer meeting. And the preacher said something last night that really hit home with me. I'm 68, been saved since 1972. And I had another preacher ask this question before. Look at yourself and see if you're in the same place you were in five years ago. If you look at yourself and you're saying, I'm in the same place I was five years ago. When they have a testimony meeting, is your testimony the same thing it was five years ago? When you stood up and testified, I love this church, I love this place, I love this, I love that, and I do this, I do that. Five years ago, you got and did the same thing. And there's a good possibility that 10 years ago, you got up and did the same thing. What's the problem? The problem is you're a midget. You are a spiritual midget. I've been there. I've been a spiritual midget. My daddy said to me one time, he said, you know what your problem is, son? You don't got in a rut walking around in a circle, and you just come in full circle around every year, year after year after year. It's been five years since you've been down there, and you're just like you were five years ago, walking that same circle. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Get out of that circle. Break loose. The new terminology today is to break the paradigm or get out of the box. And knock the end out of the box and start going straight. Get back in the Word. If you're out of the Word, get back in. Get over here in Luke. I'm over here reading this. And to me, it's, it's review, but it's beautiful review because the story is brand new. Again, we've got the story of these two brothers. The one that stayed there, but he stayed there, but he was disobedient. And... Um, he was in the same place. If you want to know the truth, he's in the same place the brother that went out is in, except he's still there but in that place. Uh, his his uh, desire right there now is pride that he stay and he, he do what his father said and everything, and he's going to inherit the whole thing. And by the way, now that his brother's gone and out of the way, he can see the big picture that, wow, Everything daddy's got now is mine, is left, is mine. My brother took a few dollars, a few cents, and he left out with that. And I've got the whole enchilada now. I got what dollars is left plus the farm. When daddy dies, I got everything. And he was angry when his brother came back. What kind of person are you when, you, when a brother comes back, when a sheep comes back that's been out of the fold? He's been out there in the world. He's been acting like the world. Are you like this brother in this book? Are you mad because somebody killed the fatted calf? Are you mad because when this brother went down front and turned around toward the church and said, hey, I've been outside of the, the fold. I've been ugly. I've talked about the church. I've done this. I've done that. And I want you to forgive me. And God's forgive me. I want to get back in. I want to start. Uh, getting back where I need to be. Now, are you one of those that say, well, boy, I wouldn't take him back, but boy, this or that, or boy, this or that. You know something? You're sitting in the pew, but you're actually in the same place he was just in, even though you're still sitting there because you have that demeanor in you that is uh, won't forgive, that unforgiven spirit in you that won't forgive. Do you know that's not going to hurt anybody but yourself? Listen, I'm talking common sense today. And this is just common sense. If, if you're mad at somebody and they don't know it, who's it going to hurt? It's not going to hurt them. It's only going to hurt you. And if you say something to somebody else about it, it's going to hurt you more, and then it's going to cause trouble for that other person too. My friend, get yourself right with the Lord. Go out and hunt these lost sheep. Go hunt for that coin that's lost. Sweep the floor diligently. Hunt for those things in your life that you've misplaced. And then when you do find them, learn how to treat them. Treat them right. Be more careful that you don't lose them again. 
the, the picture I see in the coin is ourselves.